Satellus is trying to do something nobody else has ever tried to do medically, quite frankly, and that's to regenerate tissue, regenerate an organ in a living human being. Satellos Bioscience is on a mission to invent and develop medicines which reset a body's ability to self-repair damage caused by devastating muscle disorders. The company was founded in 2018 by Frank Gleason and Dr. Michael Rutnicki, who identified and defined a subpopulation of muscle stem cells capable of self-renewal and regeneration. We're trying to regenerate muscle, muscle that gets damaged in certain disease conditions and doesn't come back naturally the way it's supposed to. Satellos announced in May 2023 it raised $55 million to further develop its lead drug candidate to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, a lethal disease with no cure. This is how children ultimately die. They die from a loss of muscle throughout their bodies. And we've made discoveries on how to re-establish the ability of bodies to regenerate muscle. And we're developing small molecule drugs that can be given in pill form that will actually act on stem cells in the body to regenerate muscle. Satellus raised funds from several healthcare specialized institutional investors. These include Avidity Partners, teaming venture partners USA, among others. We have brought on board some of the leading biotechnology institutional investors in the world as part of the Satellus team. The fact that they are endorsing our company and our science is really exciting for us. And that funding will allow us to move forward with our lead drug candidate. Satellus is among a small group of bioscience and therapeutic companies exploring potential treatments for DMD. The company believes that what separates it from its peers is its unique myorigenics platform that was designed to recreate the specialized muscle stem cell niche in vitro. If we are right, if we're successful with our science, we will be creating game-breaking new therapeutics that will have broad applications, not only for people living with Duchenne, but for people living with other degenerative conditions, be it atrophy, such as spinal muscular atrophy, be it cancer, where there's cancer cachexia, which destroys muscle, and a range of other conditions associated with aging.